Foilche, and welcome to this Traces Unit training session. Today, we are going to be looking at creating an EU login and then a role request. So the first thing we are going to do is create an EU login. Um, on our Traces NT homepage here, we have our green login button, um, and below that is a reset your password in case you've forgotten your password after you've created an account. Um, as we have not got an account yet, we're going to ignore these for the moment. And on the right hand side of this box where it says do not have an account, we're going to click on the request and access button. So we're brought to this page now and on the top right hand corner we can select our language that we want to use. And um, you can choose any from the drop down menu here. We're going to stick with English for today's example. Um, at this point I would like to note that any data that you choose will be the data that appears in the certificates and documents when you sign them. So as a certificate in Traces NT has a legal value, it is very important that you open your EU login account in the name of a real person and not a generic name as your border control post, operator's name or a control body. So for the email address, we strongly advise that you choose your individual professional email address, which will be used to sign in to TNT or Traces NT. So the first thing we're going to do is put in our name. I'm just going to use a generic name like John Smith. And I've created a dummy email address for our example today. So we're just going to put in traces test 2023 gmail.com. And we're going to confirm that again in this box. Uh, gmail.com our email language is English and then we click this box here by checking this box you acknowledge that you've read and understood this privacy statement and um, we're just going to click that there and then we're going to create an account once you've sent the request an email will automatically be sent to you with a link to set your password so we are going to go to our email here, which is just a generic email I've set up here. Um, and we have received our email here. Um, you will receive an email very like this. Um, to create your password, follow the link below. And you're just going to click this link. This link will only last for 90 minutes. It will expire in 90 minutes. So we're going to click that link there. And we're going to create a new password. Um, so we are just going to, so on our password here, um, it must have an uppercase, a lowercase, a numeric value, and a special character. So our password has to contain all of these things. I'm going to submit. And your EU password was successfully changed. You are, not, you are now logged in to the EU login. To stop the automatic single sign-on, click log out or close all browser windows. So you have now logged out of the EU login. Doing this does not sign you off in any applications to do so. Log out of each one or close all browser windows. So we are now brought to this page here, um, which is our welcome page again. We now have a login and a password created. So we're going to click on log in now. And then we're going to put in our email address which is traces oh, it comes up here and um, we've already put it in because so traces test 2023 at gmail.com this will all depend on your email so just put in your email here click next and then our password and now we are brought to this screen here when accessing traces for the first time you will see this page So when accessing traces for the first time, you'll be brought to this page here. And um, today we're going to be requesting a role as an operator. So if you work for a company or you have to create part one of a CHED, which is a common health entry document, um, you'll be selecting operator. The system is then going to redirect you to uh, the next page, which will enable you to search for your company. So we're going to click on operator here and we're brought to this page. So I'm just going to put in Ireland for our country. Um, these next two boxes, they're non-monetary and we recommend you do not fill these out. Um, 
So if your company already exists in the system, I'm just going to do a test here. Um, cause I'm sure there's a couple of just test companies we've searched for. So if your company exists in the system, if you're looking for it like this, um, so say you put in your company here, um, and you select it, you can then click on this button, request authorization, the one with the tick in it. Um, and this means you have requested the authorization to be linked to the company that you work for. So a pop-up window will then appear and you'll have the option to send on more information if you wish. Otherwise, you'll just click on send authorization request. Um, but after we've done our search um, for our company and say, for example, you couldn't find the company you, you work for or you're just creating a new one, um, this new button up here, create a new operator has appeared. So to, for today's example, we are going to click on create a new operator. So we're brought to this page here, create an operator. Um, we've got a number of boxes here we need to fill in. Um, any box with a red asterisk is mandatory and has to be filled in. Um, so today we're just going to put in our name of John Smith. Um, we're going to put in Ireland. The phone number is mon not mandatory. Um, we'll just put in a couple of random numbers here just to say we're putting in a phone number. Um, and to the right hand side of this is a green box here which we can add. Well, fax is redundant now, but um, we can add either an email or a website or a second phone number if we need to as well. Um, and we can just, if we don't want this or if we don't want the, the second um, phone or fax or email, we can just simply remove it by clicking on this red button here with the trash can on it. So our next box down is our address box. Um, so we're going to say that John lives in Louth and we will say he lives in Carlingford. Carling fraud, Carling fraud. Um, the coordinates are non-monetary and we really do not recommend you fill in those at all. Um, so our next box down is our operator identifier. So if you know your central business register, your VAT number, your traces number, um, we recommend you put that in here. It's non-monetary, but if you know it, we do recommend you put it in. So for today's example, we don't know any number here, so we're just going to get rid of that. And then the last part here is our chapter or activity. So I just want to, just before I go into um, the main part of this, just if you were creating um, a CHED, you will need to have the responsible for the load activity. So I'm just going to run through that very quickly about how you do that. So you would click on Other, um, and then you would click on Sections, and then click Responsible for the Load. And responsible for the load again. Um, your address would simply be your address that you've put in on the left left hand side here, and then you would just put in your um, your responsible authorities then as well. But I just wanted to run through that very very briefly. Uh, but for today's example, we are going to, to focus more on exporters. So we are going to go for animal. Um, and for doing an animal exporter, um, it'll be an other operator here and um, all of this will be depending on what chapter you set, select and which one of these is relevant to you so this is just for today's example I'm just going to go for other operator and then animal exporter um, once again yeah any the activity and section will all be just relevant to to you So we're going to put in our address, which when we click on this drop down menu here, oh, sorry, um, when we click on this drop down menu, it is just the address we put in on the left hand side here. And then we're going to search for our responsible authority. And um, we recommend when you're searching for your responsible authority, you would use a responsible authority that you work close with. So the responsible authority here is going to be Navin, because this is the one for Leith. Um, this is the local authority unit, um, so we're just going to select this here, and now we have everything that has a red asterisk beside it filled in, and we're going to create a new operator. We'll get this message up here as well. You can put in um, a note or a message if you need to, and an extra email and phone number if needs be as well, otherwise just send the authorization request. Now your authorization request has successfully been submitted.
For the organic chapter, you will have to select your control body slash authority. For other activities, the selection of the section and the activity is enough. The competent authority will be automatically assigned by the system. This competence authority is responsible for the validation of this activity and the management of this activity of your operator. Once your request is sent on, you will see receive the following message on the Traces homepage. Um, you can then see your status um, at the bottom of this page. So once your operator and your role are valid, you will then have access to Traces NT. So down the bottom here as well, you can see where it says requested. Um, and once your role has been validated, this will change to valid. So once your request has been validated, we suggest that you log out. We'll log out again. And then we're going to log back in again. I'm just going to put in our email address and then our password. So now once we've been validated, we are brought to this page here. This is our home page. Um, I suggest the first thing you do when you get into this page here is click on just the top right hand corner here where your email address is and click on edit your profile. So on your edit your profile page, the first thing you will see is your time zone. Um, you can change that if you need to there. The second thing down is a very important part of this is the notification preferences. Um, you need to all of these are automatically on when you first sign into traces anything you don't want to receive notifications on you must click off so we suggest we highly suggest you go through all of these and if there's anything that's not relevant to you that you click off so you're not receiving emails and notifications about it and then after that is our email language and then we have time slots if you are to receive notifications and um, it just gives you time slots in which um, you can receive them um, the, other, the other thing here is you can um, change your password here. You can update any information. And if you click into your account, um, it gives you details of deleting your account if you need to. You can go into your details. You can configure. You can change your phone numbers, etc. Um, I'm just going to go through that briefly. But they're all options there if you need them. So the last thing I'm going to do here is to show you how to add an additional activity to your operator entry. So what we're going to do now is this bar up here, um, it says documents, we've got dashboard, we've got actors, publications and help. So we're going to click on the actors tab in the middle here and we're going to click on operators. So you can search for the company we've just created now um, or we can search for uh, for John Smith. I do recommend you use advanced search rather than the normal because um, it's just it'll just make things easier if you can add in more um, more information. So um, the first thing we're going to do is put in Ireland and we're going to say John is from Louth because that's where he's we've put him from, from Carlingford. Sorry. So we're going to click on Louth here from the menu. Um, and then we're just going to put in John. Oh, he's already there. Um, so we're just going to search for John Smith. And that's him showing up now. He's the first entry from Carlingford Louth. We're just going to click him here. Um. And so the when you when you get to your operator's entry, um, if you need to add an extra activity, we're just going to click on this green button up here, and we'll be brought to here. Um, now you can select a section, any of these sections. It it just depends on which one you need. It'll vary from from operator to operator. Um, I think because we've made John an exporter, we'll just make him an importer today as well. So we'll add activity. Um, if you have an identifier number as well, you can put it in here. We do recommend it. it just makes it easier to search for the company if you have an identifier as well. So your company number, your VAT number, your traces number, your herd number. Um, we, just don't, we don't have one today, but um, we recommend you put it in if you do have one. So we're just going to select import it here from this um, drop down menu. Um, our activity details, uh, we don't need to put in valid from and to. There's no mandatory. Um, our address is already in, so we just need to search for our responsible authority, which is Navin, um, because we're in Louth. So we're just going to search for that, and we have Navin here. So we're just going to select them. And we're just going to hit save. And that activity now has been added and um, it does it does need to be validated but it is at the status of new so if we just go back out here 
and we search for John Smith again, we can see that that new activity has been added to the profile. It just needs to be validated. Um, that is it for today's training session um, on creating an EU login and role request. Um, thank you for listening.